Toy Tractor Times is at the 2019 Summer Farm Toy Show in Dyersville, Iowa. We're visiting here with Eric Puppelars. Uh, Eric, you got some great pieces here. I just found out you're from Western New York, where I grew up as well. And Thank you. now you're living out, you said, uh, in Omaha? Yes. Very cool. Well, uh, we've got some great pieces here. I really noticed just going by your tractor and planter setup. What can you tell me about this? Sure. The uh, tractor started out as the Ertl 8370RT. I had the uh, mirrors both on the left and right hand side, um, the width indicating flashers, um, the wide track tank kit for feeding a fertilizer or side dress bar, and then a uh, three point hitch uh, to put with the planter. The planter uh, started as the Ertl 1775 NT 16-row 30. I added a two-point um, mount plate on it to give it the correct style hitch. I removed the markers and added uh, photo etch weights on it, just as something a little different. Um, have a planer without markers. Run it all GPS and I added a second GPS um, receiver on the planer and also on the back. I added an air compressor for a, to have the pneumatic downforce system on it. Tell you what, that is one impressive planning team. Thank I, you. I got to film a similar setup like this for Big Tractor Power YouTube this spring, and okay. uh, you know when you're watching this go with the self automation, that's yeah. a, and I really like that detail because you got the 6,000 receiver up here, and then. Have you seen it more and more? Is that receiver on the planner? Yeah, yeah. I figured if um, I take the markers off, why not put a receiver on a planner? Something I haven't personally seen. I think I don't know, a receiver on a planner I may have seen one like at a farm show mm -hmm. once, but never actually got to see one in the field like that. But um, that should be a little something different to have in the collection. So it's uh, you know when you have a setup like this, you can plant your whole field and then do your headlands last, and okay. the tractor now will actually auto self automate plant the headlines you don't even have to steer it doing the boundaries of the field so that that's a good build thank you now did you modify the tracks at all or is that the standard no, uh, those, standard track those are the tracks that came with the tractor from Ertl okay. this is at least as far as I'm aware the first one that Ertl built that was both the wide track spacing and had this 16 right. 18 inch real narrow tracks so no, that's a perfect planning setup and definitely having those tanks inside you get a lot of acres covered yeah now you also, looks like you got a pickup truck over here. Yes. The pickup uh, started out as the Speccast um, F350 crew cab short bed, and I uh, re removed the steering pickup bed and added a uh, bale bed kit and a uh, cake feeder. The, these two are kits from Lockwood Angus Farm Toys. I didn't realize that at first, um, I actually bought the truck and the kits at the show last year. I didn't realize until I was into the build that the Speccast pickups were uh, short bed instead of long bed. So I had to shorten up the bale bed um, as needed to fit the shorter frame of the truck. And then they also um, added a 3D printed um, bumper and grill guard that it got off Shapeways to it. So well, That's a perfect cattle truck. I really yeah. like the combo with the round bale and the, the cake feeder. And they, I uh, attended South Dakota State for college, and uh, lot, I've got a lot of friends at ranch and have similar st style trucks. So if you're just be a little something sure. different to have. So well, with a, between the bed and the brush guard, you can't go wrong. Right. Well, Eric, thank you for sharing these at the show, and I okay. uh, hope you can make it back again sometime and share thank some you. other builds. All right, thank Thanks. you.